Hello friends, let's open Flash Magic 2. So it may take up for a while to open this program, but uh, once it's open, you see something like this, which we have right now on the screen. The configuration part of Flash Magic is very simple. You have to first select the device that you are using, microcontroller, and here in this case, LPC1768. So for me, I can choose it and hit on OK. Then we have to make sure that this COM port, right COM port has been selected. In my case, it's a COM3, which works pretty well. And then we have to choose the baud rate, 115200 is good to go with. The interface, as we will be using this um, inbuilt bootloader, which is people also can call this primary bootloader, because it's been shifted with the chip itself when NXP shipped the product. So we have to choose this interface that is uh, ISP and then we have to make sure that we have the correct clock frequency has been selected that is a 12 megahertz as we have the 12 megahertz crystal onto the board and then it's it's a good practice to check all the time this erase block used by hex file I often do that so that's all you have to do and the only part left is you have to browse the latest from there that you want to dump into the microcontroller so here in this case I choose my main.x file and then hit on open and you can see right now I have been chosen this uh, main.x file to to program into the flash memory of my microcontroller LPC1768. The only thing left behind is to hit on start button and you can see the the programming will start. Okay, so let me hit this. And once I hit and there is something which is not going wrong. If you get this uh, pop-up box, don't be afraid. Um, I have made a small mistakes. I wanted to show you that's why I have been took the step forward. Just simply click on OK and then make sure you have been pressed the right button. I mean sequence of button. So you have to press the 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 ISP switch and then reset and then release reset and then ISP and now your device is in ISP mode and now when you press start you will see that programming is going on and now it's done so don't panic if you get this pop-up box which we had before and uh, as I have said before just read the article um, again um, if you are watching this video on YouTube you will find in the description down below the link for this article and uh, this way you can dump your latest firmware into your microcontroller the only thing you have to do still left to behind is you have to press a reset once to uh, you know once you press reset one more time uh, you will see your latest firmware will start executing into the microcontroller that is this main.x file so let me do this and I can see right now my LED is blinking and that's it for this video. I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. See you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.